code explain says hi. So in the last part, we have created our custom hooks used to do and use projects to get the data from our database. So today I'm going to go and console log effect called. So whenever a rear render happens, my use effect will call the effect and I'm going to console effect called to my uh, console. I'm going to go and open the console and you can see that the effect has been called so many times. So which means that we have so many rear renders are happening. Now I'm going to go on so also and console log subscribed. So to know if we have set up a new subscription each time a re-render happens. Now if I hit save, you can see that we subscribe on each re-render, which is not something we want. So we don't want to set up a subscription here because we only need to set up a subscription one time only on the first render because we are using a listener here and whenever something changes in our database, we will get those changes. So no need to set up a new subscription. Now, if I go to my console on Firebase and go to my Firestore Cloud and, and the Usage tab, you can see that I've already used 2.8 Ks reads in less than, I can say, uh, five minutes. So I'm going to go and speed up this to see what's going to happen in a few moments. So if we didn't take this in mind and we keep developing our app, our app will keep using the data or consume the data in the background and the amount of reads are going to reach our are going to reach the limits, which is 50k uh, reads per day, because we are on a free plan here. So I'm going to keep doing this until I reach the 50k reads per day and see what's going to happen. So we have already used 32k's reads in less than 30 minutes, I guess, 35 or 34 Ks. So now on each call or, or on each re-render, a subscription is set up. And whenever a subscription is set up, I read the data from the database, even if nothing has changed in the database. So now I can see a message from Firebase they said your project is approaching free limits and please upgrade. So it's like a lot of users are using our app, uh, which is not the case. We are just one user developing its app and we are uh, reaching the limits. Now uh, I can see in my console that uh, an error message that says quota exceeded which means we cannot read no more data from our database because we reached the limits. So now let's go and talk about what's causing the re-render in the first place and let's fix this. So what's causing those infinite re-renders? We created our use to do's and our use projects hooks and we used our use effect to create or to set up a subscription. Now, when we created our use to do's, we declared some state and then we use effect to set up the subscription. Once the subscription is set up, we will get some data from our database, then we set them to our to do's. That's the same thing that's going to happen in our use projects hub. Now, when the set to do's is called, the state will change and that will cause a re-render. So when my use to do's re-renders and the re-render completes, my use effect will go and call again my effect, which means set up the subscription again, which means set to do's to the new data coming from the database, which means changing the state, which means causing a new re-render 
and again my user effect will go and set up a new subscription set to do to the new data and re-renders and that will keep happening infinitely so what i need here is to tell react to set up the subscription or in other words to call my effect only one time only on the first render so to achieve that i only need to add the second argument for my use effect which is gonna be an empty array and i'm gonna do the same thing for use projects so when you use effect hook then pass in the argument as an empty array you're telling your use effect hook to call your effect only one time only on the first render so now when you use to do this render for the first time we will declare some state after the render finishes my use effect will call my effect which means set up the subscription then i'm gonna get the data from the database and then i'm gonna call set to do's which will change the state this will cause a re-render but this time use effect will not call my effect which means we're not set up a subscription again because i've put this empty array as a second argument for my use effect now let's go and do this in our code so i'm gonna go here and add uh, the second argument it's gonna be an empty array I'm gonna do the same thing for my use projects hook the second parameter is gonna be an empty array now if I hit save and then open my console log or refresh and open my console log you can see that the here I'm gonna refresh again you can see that the effect is being called one time and the subscribe is being set up only one time now let's go to my database and do some changes and let's see what's going to happen so if i change this from false to true you can see there that my to do will be updated so no need to set up a new subscription on each render to get the new data because we have used our on snapshot listener which will keep listening to any changes on the database and once the changes are done our listener will get back those data and update our app. So that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. That will help me a lot. Take care. See you in the next part.